Hey everyone, it's Ty Warner with Tyka Engineering and KISSOFT Tech Support. I wanted to talk about what do you do with KISSIS models and when you want to bring them into KISS design. Um, in the past, I've shown that you can open, you can save and open up models and import uh, KISSOFT models into KISS design and or uh, KISSOFT just by, by saving a, a module as an example. And, in the, and actually, what we can do is if I open up a, a KISSOFT file, I'm just going to grab one that's uh, an import example, I'm going to call it. <clears throat> and I want to show you how quickly we can do this. So here's a here's an import. This model happens to be a planetary drive. So it's a DC electric motor planetary two-stage design um, that drives a three-stage or a two-stage. Uh, so two-stage planetary with a two-stage cylindrical gear pair. See that? All right. What I want to do is I want to bring this into KISS design. I don't want to have to go through and make all the shafts over. So simply, uh, in 2024 release, if I go to the System tab and I right-click Export KISS Design, the software is going to do a bunch of calculations in the background. It'll take maybe a 30 seconds to a minute. And it's going to ask you to save um, this, this, imp, this export um, file somewhere and you're going to save it maybe in your kiss off file or in a, in a folder that you you don't you know for your projects and um, that's what you're going to do so when this is done the window uh, a save window will come up okay it's going to say it's going to kiss ksys that's different than a ks file and i'm going to just call it transfer i've already created one but i'm going to write over it right here i'm going to, I'm going to put it in my kiss off file I'm going to save that. I'm going to replace it. Yep. Okay. So this is my KISSIS model. I'm done with this. I open up KISSOFT right here, and I'm looking at the exact, um, you know, the 2024 user interface. I double-click KISS Design, open that module, and now I have my sketcher, uh, my viewer, boundary system data, all this information here. It's a really simple thing. I go to File, Import, KISSIS. I'm going to import that KISSIS file. I'm going to grab transfer, which I just created. I'm going to say open. It says that uh, model assist can contain functions in code, so I don't have any of that in this model. Um, this check must include comparing the calculator. So what we're talking about there is if you did a user interface and maybe you had some special calculations you created. What I'm finalizing here, now I have this this uh this great big doesn't it's kind of it looks kind of like a mess but it's not a mess but we have our shaft groups here's our uh one of our shaft groups here's a planet group planet two group i'll put calc in the intermediate um there's some things we can do okay i'm going to close this just because i want to have a little bit more window to play with okay so my group box if i open this up i have my motor carrier one carrier two and ring one two all right, so here's my motor shaft. That's where it probably should be. Here's my carrier. That's my first carrier, my second carrier, and my ring gear. And these are all coaxial shafts, so they're in a group right here. KISS Design already put that together for us. I have a planetary group, planetary one. I have a planetary two group right here. I have an output shaft, and I have an intermediate. And what I know for sure is my intermediate shaft and my... Uh, Carrier 2, I have a, a link, and I can see this link right here. They're linked with the gear. Here's my output shaft with a link to this gear. I can move shafts individually by simply highlighting here, holding the shift button, and then I can move this shaft. If I want to move a group, I have to highlight the blue dotted line or the center line in order to do that. Okay? So... I know for sure that I want this output shaft to be somewhere else. I come in here, I highlight the blue line, I hold the shift button down, and then I move this shaft up here, kind of where it should be. And if I hit this move button here, I can just move this around and kind of look at it. And I, and I did that for a reason, because I wanted to see, I wanted this to kind of open up and kind of clean up my, my view here, all right? So now I, I know for sure that I probably want to do something with this uh, planet 
2 and the planet 1. And I need to do something with this um, ring gear. So on the ring gear, I'm going to turn that on. If I highlight this and I hold shift, I can expand that. Okay. Now my ring gear is a little bit bigger. And it encompasses kind of these planets in here. And if I want my ring gears to be smaller, I can highlight that until I get that double arrow. And I can move those down. So they're kind of a little bit easier to see. And now let's say I want to move this carrier over. Um, I'm just going to highlight the center, hold the shift button down, and move that over. And I'm going to do the same thing for this carrier. I can see it highlights right here, carrier one. I'm going to hold the shift button down. I'm going to move this over. Okay. My first planet um, is calculated right here. And that goes to the sun, sun gear to here. So if I want to move this whole thing, I have to highlight the blue line, hold the shift button, and I can move that over. Okay. And my second planet, planet two, if I highlight the blue line, again, if I highlight on the black line versus the blue line, I get two different boxes. If I highlight the blue line, I get the whole, um, the whole coaxial group. I hold the shift button down, and then I move this over here. Okay. Um, now I have sun gear to planet to ring gear. And maybe I want to move this over, so I highlight that, and I shift that over in line. Okay. And now I can even highlight this and bring it down a little bit um, <clears throat> so it's not as wide. I can highlight the blue line here, and I can move this down. This is my intermediate shaft. And then I can do the same thing with this, highlight the blue center line, and I'm going to bring this down. Okay. Now I've, oops, if I highlight this, uh, move elements, I can move everything around. So now I have kind of cleaned this up a little bit. And if I want to see what I have here, I can I can simply go to my 3D viewer, I click on that, and I have my my system. Okay. And if I go to if I go back to my sketcher, I can run this and it's going to calculate this whole system just like I did in KISSIS. And it'll calculate it here and I'll have options to look at um, results for gears, shafts, bearings, etc., those types of things. So KISS this, import to KISS design. Uh, gear load cannot be updated, that's okay. Um, we'll be able to fix this stuff here in a minute. But the point was we can get this uh, shifted over into here. Develop interfaces, gear command, okay, that's okay. We'll have to look at uh, the power flows here. There, it finally solved. Okay. But I have uh, gear root safety, bearing sa static safety. This is just my my basic results calculation. Uh, that was giving me some warnings because of uh, positional stuff, but I've already positioned this, generally speaking. Um, so if I look at my 3D viewer, it brought everything in kind of where it was supposed to be. My boundary conditions, okay, that's not defined. We can define this. Okay, here's my input and output. If I go to my 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 let's see, I want calculation ratios. I get all my gear ratios here, um, and then my total says one, <clears throat> but it's not one. Anyways, this uh, it brought it in here. Now I can go in here and, and uh, if I double click on a, a on a gear pair. Um, it brings us up. I can run the calculation. Okay, just like we normally did in Kisses, just like we would do in Kiss Soft. In this case, it's running. Um, okay, it's good. All right, I get my results. I don't know my flank safety is in the second one, probably because I don't have that for that material. I can close out of here. I can open up a shaft group, uh, Planet One, as an example. And it brings it up, and I have all the elements that I had for my KISSIS file right here. Okay. So it's real simple to import that stuff. You might get a couple warnings. You'll go through your, uh, you might have to go through this, the, the calculations quick, make sure everything uh, looks correct. 
if you have anything where you've you've created scripts or something, you might have to do a little bit of work. But generally speaking, this this is like really fast. It's easy to manipulate, easy to bring in. Um, Kiss Design will help you design your systems so much faster. Uh, Kiss this was great. I loved it. This is even better. Like you're gonna love Kiss Design. So if you have questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, Ty Warner at Kisssoft dot ag or ty warner at tykeengineering.com um, we're happy to help and support uh, give demos that sort of thing but kiss design really is going to be a game change game changer in system design it's gonna be so much faster it's gonna be great so thanks for watching uh, leave a comment subscribe to the channel uh, let me know all the types of systems you'd like to see uh, with kiss design thanks bye